Uh, good evening, another little video, uh, just a uh, bit of a bench tidying and while I was there I found this uh, transformer on the uh, bench. I thought right I better actually figure out uh, what voltage it would uh, put out. It's definitely for an amplifier of some sort, a valve amplifier. Um, you have your, your mains in, um, some very thin wires there. And on the output side you have a heater uh, pair. Uh, I'm estimating probably about 6.3 volts or that's what I'm hoping for anyway and you also have a high voltage side there um, the reason I put those in uh, this uh, chocolate block connector is to make it easier for measuring the actual voltages um, so that I don't have to chase loose wires around the bench so uh, Although they're connected here, this will actually have um, high voltage AC on it. Um, those plugs do stay apart on them because I'm not going to actually have to touch those. Um, I can leave them out of range. They're connected to uh, a Variac, um, which mains plug is here. There we are. Uh, and I'm just gonna put that in to my safety trip. Oh, well, there you go. Accidentally dropped the plug and put it on my hot air gun instead. I might cut that bit out. I might not. We'll see what happens. Um, right, so first of all, I'm going to plug in this transformer. Uh, now, the Variac is set to zero volts. We'll set the voltmeter to AC. Uh, let that fire up first. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to also put the voltmeter into the output terminals of the... Variac. So hopefully we should be reading, yes, um, as you see we're getting a very small AC voltage reading there. Now I'm going to slowly turn that up until we get about 100 volts on there. Now as you see we're going up very slowly. Oh, there we go. Mm, as close as we're going to get. Right, so with 100 volts going in, I'm expecting to see around about 3 volts on here, and I don't know what I'm going to get here. Um, hopefully it will be around about 150, maybe 200 volts. So let's first of all check there. And I was right, yes, 3 volts there, which to me says we're going to get a... 6 volts, 7 volts offload for a valve heater connection and on this side we are showing 103 so we're not actually showing much of a difference so it's probably 1 to 1 ratio on the high voltage side which means I'm expecting at uh, UK mains voltage of 240 volts in um, to get about 240 volts out the other side which is a reasonable B plus level for a small valve amplifier so now I'm going to go back and I'm going to put the probes back in the Variac and uh, what we'll do is we'll take this up now take it up to UK mains voltage of 240 Back it off a tiny bit there. Right, okay, so 240 volts AC coming out of the Variac. Uh, let's check the 7.4 volts. Um, allow the extra volt for the fact that there is actually no load on the transformer at all. Um, when it's actually wired in with with a load, I expect that to be a standard 6.3 volt heater voltage. Uh, let's see what the high voltage side is doing now. 249 volts, so it's pretty much one to one, 250 volts. There's, um, yeah, rectified. That'll be uh, a nice little, uh, nice little amplifier voltage for um, probably a single ended amp. Um, there looks to be enough uh, capability on the 
heater side to run several uh, valves um, it's actually running quite thick cable um, so you could possibly run three maybe four heat of uh, heater elements off there um, high voltage side again that's quite a big transformer one to one ratio um, I would imagine maybe four valves um, you know maybe three maybe a pair of t uh, 12 AX7s and a couple of EL84s a um, couple of 6V6s something like that um, without stressing the transformer too much um, rectification wise I would imagine because of the fact that nothing has a centre tap uh, it looks like it probably originally came from something with solid state rectification as opposed to a valve rectifier um, and uh, that should give a as I say a reasonable rectified output um, about 250 300 volts mm, without doing the maths um, yeah that, that'll be a, a very good output for uh, a valve amplifier um, so just to quickly go back I always uh, check the variac um, let's take the wires off of there so yep we're still on 240 volts wind that down to zero before I turn everything off and just check it's as low as it'll go um, yeah the variac doesn't actually go to zero it stops at two volts as near as so uh, that's that now if I unplug the variac and there we go um, zero volts AC which means it's now safe to unplug these leads unplug those turn the transformer over now you can see I've marked on there what um, the pairs already do because I did actually measure them with a meter to confirm that they were pairs um, and I'm going to put on there um, one to one, two fifty volt uh, output. Um, I'll probably write that clearer on the side. There you go. Just a measuring of a ran random transformer. Subscribe at the bottom, and uh, hope to see you in another video soon. Thank you very.